So friends, if you are writing any of your research documents, maybe research paper, literature review, PhD thesis, assignment, etc. in Microsoft Word, so you can think about one tool that you can use within the interface of this Microsoft Word itself, where if you want to rewrite something, means if you have written few sentences, and if you want to just rewrite those sentences in order to make them technically strong then also you can do that within this interface itself and if you have written two three sentences and now you need to get an idea to expand those sentences then also you can do that so if you want to generate something then also you can put prompt and you will be able to get that information and the most important thing is you can provide proper in-text citations and you will be able to generate hundreds of references or the list of references very quickly and this everything you can do within this interface of microsoft word so i believe this would be beneficial to you so hello everyone I'm Welcome you all to this channel my research support and in this video we will be discussing about a 4 AI site extension. So with the help of this tool you can perform almost everything that you can do with the help of this Mendeley Zotero EndNote. But unlike all these tools you will be able to get the research assistant with this a 4 AI site extension where along with putting citations and generating bibliographics you may rewrite, expand, generate and lot more stuff you can perform. So without any further ado let's start. So the very first point is you have to see the compatibility of this a 4 AI site extension. So it is compatible with Microsoft Word 2019 for Windows and Mac, then Word on the web and then Microsoft 365 on Windows and Mac. So you have to first make sure that you have any of these versions installed in your PC, then only this Microsoft site extension will work. And now the second point is installation. You have to open your Microsoft Word or the document on which you are working on. You can click on file and then you have to click on get add-ins where you have to search for a for AI. Then you have to click on add, continue. So as soon as you will add this A4 AI extension or add-in will appear here under this drop down menus. And on the right side, you have to first log in with your A4 AI account. So previously I have already prepared this video on A4 AI mm -hmm. means how to use A4 AI, its web interface. So I have provided the link in this video description. You can just go through that. So now let me log in with my login credentials. So I would like to log in with my Google account. So you can see this now I have logged in and these are the research articles those I have added to this Afore AI interface. So now the next step is before moving ahead explaining this Afore AI site extension you have to just click on Afore AI and then you will have these three options go to the Afore AI launch site extension which is already here and then help center okay. So first you have to click on go to Afore AI means you have to log in to this Afore AI web interface. So the login credentials will remain same. So if you have not yet created your account, you can first create your account and then you can click on login. So even though you have logged in in your Microsoft Word a 4 site extension, but still you have to log in here as well. So this is my A4AI web interface where I already added a few of the research articles. So this is again the first step means before you move towards citing and generating bibliographics, you have to add your research articles here in this interface and then only all these research articles will be reflected under your Afore site extension means first you have to add all this research article here under your library so this is my library under that you can create multiple folder for example if i am working on a specific research paper so i may create a folder and i may rename that folder as paper one so whatever research articles that i need to cite in paper one those research articles I can upload here so that this will be helpful if you are working on multiple research papers. So to add research papers you have to click on upload and then upload file you have to select you have to upload pdf and then you have to select that specific research articles those you need to upload and then click on upload. So you can see this these two research articles are uploaded now you can go back to your the site extension and then you have to click here on the right side and you have to click on reload so once you do that your library will be refreshed and you will be able to see the added research articles here so you can see this so these are the articles that i have added so do not forget to reload from here then only all these research articles you have added here under this web interface will be reflected here in under this uh, site extension now once you added all the research articles those you need to cite in your research article or any research document then you can simply close this window now let us first understand about this interface this really simple interface so this is your references all the references added would be reflected here 
and then this is your research assistant for example as i said i am writing this introduction for my research paper so let us take this example i have written this sentence but i think as you can even go through this sentence so this is again in very simple language so if i want to publish this article in q1 related journal then definitely the language should be technically strong so i can simply copy this and i may write the prompt as rewrite and i can paste my copied sentence and you have to click on send so here you will be able to see this this f4s site extension is again correlating this information with the research articles so see this depends on multiple models so here you have this models document retrieval means this f4s site extension will take reference of your uploaded research articles and based on that only this tool will rewrite your sentence okay and this is the second option cementing scholar means f4 ai itself has more than 200 million peer reviewed research papers database so right now i have just put rewrite and i have just copied this sentence that does mean this f4 ai site extension has taken the reference of this research articles and then this sentence has rewritten so if you are rewriting something then i'll just recommend you to move ahead with this semantic scholar option so don't move ahead with this google scholar otherwise your sentence means the database would be of any relevant website wikipedia etc so this is better to move ahead with the semantic scholar so you can close this and here also you will have multiple models so you can select any of these models so i usually prefer to move ahead with gpt4 so you can see this now you can we will compare this so the severe deformations improve the functions of metal alloy from applications point of view this is a sentence i have written and you can just go through this sentence severe plastic deformation significantly enhances the functional properties and performance of metal alloys making them more suitable for a wide range of advanced engineering application so you can see the level of sentence obviously this sentence is technically strong and i can just include i'll just copy this sentence here and i'll replace this sentence now you may be having a question in your mind that what about ai score so obviously i am not recommend you to as it is rewrite everything so i'm just saying take assistance of it and you can rewrite few of the sentences those you feel that those are not really excellent means if you are rewriting intermittent sentences then definitely your document won't be detected under ai score and now the next point is if you want to expand something for example i have started writing few of the sentences about any specific feature and i have stuck here that i don't know how to explain that particular thing in that case if you want to expand that then you can copy this two sentences and you can put a prompt here as expand these sentences then definitely you will be getting idea that what should be include after these two sentences and then if you want to generate something for example you may be copying this paragraph and you can put a prompt like generate a title for this piece of text and then definitely you will get ideas to create title for your research documents so in this way a lot more stuff you can just do simply by using this research assistant feature of this f4ai site extension okay now let us move towards the most important part which is about putting citations and generating bibliographic so you have to click on your references and now i need to insert citations so for example i need to insert citation at this cursor position then i will select that specific research article for example this is a research article or this two research articles i need to insert so you have to select this research articles and you have to click on place in cursor position so that you can see this this citations have inserted and then i want to provide citations at this cursor position then i have to select this citation for example i need to include this paper this research paper and this research paper so you can select those research paper and you have to click on place in cursor position so you can see this all these three research papers have cited and here these two research papers have cited and now let us create the list of references so you have to first click at the place where you need to create the list of references and then you have to click on these three dots where you will have this option to insert bibliography you can click on that so you can see this list of references have been created so even though 
you have cited 50 research papers 100 research paper then also you will be able to create list of references very quickly and now the most important point is that i like about this f4a site extension that you can click on these three dots and you can click on citation setting if you want to change the citation style then also you can do that so you will find around thousand plus different research journals where you can set the citation style so suppose you are submitting your research article to any of these journal so i'll be selecting for example advanced healthcare materials you can select that so you can see this according to that journal this references style has changed and the list of references have also changed so in this way it is really very simple to use this f4a site extension it is very smooth interface and you will have thousand plus citation styles and sometimes for any of the reason if it is not responding then simply you have to click on this option and you have to just reload this f4a site extension then it will start working and one more thing to add if you are manually overriding any of the citations then definitely when whenever you will be generating the list of references these citations won't be considered i mean the list of references would be generated from this automatic citations and now the last point unfortunately this is not a free tool so with free account yes you'll be able to use some limited features but i'll recommend you to use free account first and you have to see whether this is really helpful in your research topic in your research area and then you can move ahead subscribing for the premium version so i have provided one discount coupon in this video description so if you apply that discount coupon definitely you will get additional discount so friends thank you very much for watching this video i hope this information will help you so please do not forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so i'll see in my next video bye bye